Hey everyone, it's Kariana, the one, the only, your favorite witchy coach. And I am here with a video. I think I'm going to title this, You Can Master This, or You Can Master LOA. And the reason why is because I've had a lot of things come up lately in session um, where people are asking me, if I do this and I do that, am I going to master this? Am I going to get what I want? Okay, so before I get into that, um, a reminder, guys, all of my information for one-on-one -on -one coaching is down in the description box below. If you guys need help on this journey, please reach out. I would love to help you guys. Um, I say that in each and every one of my videos because I want to remind you guys I am your number one fan. I am your cheerleader, and I want you guys to get what you want, okay? Um, I am still waiting on my office to be cleared out so I can have my perfect background for you guys, but I'm still here to make videos and I'm just chilling guys. I'm really chilling. I'm like, I'm trying to change my story about my SP procrastinating about things around the house, driving me crazy. You guys can relate. Um, so yeah, um, our house, let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory. Our house um, was uh, lived in by one of our friends before we moved in, a couple of ours. And they have some of our their stuff still here. And unfortunately, um, uh, you know, the running story is, the assumption, obviously I'm pushing this out for whatever reason, that they are dragging their feet on getting their stuff out of our house where my office is in the basement. And it's driving me crazy. So I'm trying to change that story. And my SP, actually, I changed the story to where now my SP is hounding them <laughs> to get their stuff out. I think it's funny because I've literally been intending that my SP asks them every single time because he, um, one of the guys that, the guy, basically the couple that lived here, the guy that works with my SP, um, works at my SP's shop, he, they literally like are in contact like all the time. And so I was intending that every single time that they would talk, they would have a conversation that my SP would ask him about, you know, the stuff and um, it's working guys. I now I need to change my story about my SP procrastinating and that nobody is dragging their feet in the situation and I'm going to get exactly what I want and everything works out in my favor because it does. It does. So just a little backstory of what I'm currently dealing with in my life. Um, and you know, you guys can all relate, you can relate to these everyday things that happen, mundane things that happen that, um, you know, can be frustrating. So anyways, back to the title of the video. Oh, actually too, I have a little side note that I want to, I just want to bring this up really quickly, guys. Our channel is about bringing, you know, well, I can only talk for myself. I always say I can only speak for myself because I never, ever, ever want to represent any other coach or any anybody else on this channel. Um, I want to do that. They can do that for themselves. Um, and so I can speak for myself, but I know I'm trying to bring positivity to this channel. Okay. Um, and I there's been a couple things that have brought been brought up in the comments that, you know, that are like a bit defensive, um, a bit negative. And guys, I don't want that. And I know everyone is me pushed out. I get it. Okay. Don't come at me with that. I, I understand it. I've been doing this for a lot of years. Okay. But just because everyone is you pushed out. Okay. So your assumptions I've pushed out, maybe even instantly. Okay because the brain is going to take the path of least resistance. I'm going to get into that in a minute. Okay, fine. It's here. Just because you created something does not mean that you can, can't create boundaries. Okay. I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. Just because you have called something in or somebody in, in a certain way does not mean that you can't create boundaries. It does not mean that from this day forward, you can intend that that person, the situation, whatever it is, is going to be accountable we're talking about a person here. So let's just say that person's going to be accountable for how they show up in your reality now. Okay. Cause guess what? You can do that. You can affirm that. Yes, I created this person in this version, but I'm now intending that they take accountability for their actions and their words and how they show up for me from now on. And that's what I'm doing with my, with my subscribe, with our subscribers, with my clients. Okay. And so let's just keep it bottom line. Let's just keep it 
really positive, really peaceful in the comments. Please don't hang on to every word that I'm saying or every word that a subscriber comments on. Guys, like I love all you guys, okay? I'm here to empower you guys. I'm here to bring you guys a positive message. And if you guys are coming to the channel in any way, shape or form, and I'm not saying that you are, I'm just throwing this out there. If you're coming to the channel looking to hang on every word that the coach says, or if you're looking to come to the channel to read every comment and see and and, and see where people's hangups are, or see where you can jump in and be defensive and be negative, you're coming to this channel for the wrong reason. You're coming into LOA, right? To learn about LOA in the wrong mindset, in the wrong state of mind, in the wrong, yeah, in the wrong state of mind, in the wrong state, okay? So I just want to point that out to you guys. Let's please come from love and kindness. I've said this in probably every single video that I make damn near. Um, I'm always saying, let's come from love and kindness. That's very important. That's very important when we're dealing with everyone is when we're when we're when we're coming to terms that everyone is us pushed out. Everyone is you pushed out. Let's come from love and kindness because every single person is going to reflect that. And I am always trying to come from love and kindness, guys. Not trying, I do. Period. I'm always coming from love and kindness. So let's do let's do the same. Let's all do the same. Okay. Um, so let's bring it back to the topic. So basically I think that I'm, like I said, I'm going to name this video. Um, you can master LOA or you can master this. Let's just, I'm going to talk loosely on, on this, on this topic, because I feel like you guys, everybody has came to me with the, with the, you know, a running thing this last week or so. And it's like I said, it's mostly like my newer clients or a client that has had a first session with me and they're trying to reset. Um, I've said this before, but like a lot of people come to me when they've had coaching before from whoever, whatever coaches are out there. Um, they have done a bunch of techniques. I don't even like the word. Um, they have a long list of affirmations, not a fan. Um, I've said this many times before, but when they are in true need of a reset. Okay. Um, and then I will give them a routine, what I have dubbed homework. I, I have dubbed it homework. I've called it homework now because I love, I just love giving you guys homework. I love giving you guys an assignment that is fun, shakes things up, that empowers you because I'm going to tell you right now, you guys have may have not have, you know, felt empowered with the things that you're doing. But when you have a session with me and I get a hold of you, you are going to leave the session empowered. You are going to leave the session reset. Okay. Why? Because I intend for that. Because those are my assumptions. Because I believe in that wholeheartedly, 100% right now, I can say that that is what's going to happen. Because I've seen it a hundred, if not thousands of times before with my clients. Okay. And subscribers and people that comment and all of, all of that. When you guys have sessions with me, when you're watching my videos, you are going to leave empowered. You are going to leave feeling like you've got this, okay? You're reset. So that's first and foremost. I am very, very confident in that, okay? And that's why I want to name this, you will master this because you will, guys. I've said this before, right? It's no secret that the brain does not want to change. Okay. I get that. I understand that we have all gone through that and it can be really, really frustrating. And that's why at first, when I teach this, I tell everybody that leaves the session and they go, okay, Kariana, I am ready to do this. I'm like, trust me as your coach. Okay. They're like, I'm trusting you. I'm ready to do this. I'm taking this routine. I have dubbed homework, homework, and I am going to apply this. Now, am I going to get what I want if I do this? Okay. And I always tell everybody, yes, you are, because this is what it's all about. When you take, when you take this, this homework that I give you, okay. And you apply it because I can give you all the education that I have. I can give you all of, um, all of my, uh, experiences, education, all of these things that I give you, and you have to take it and apply it to your life. So if you actually apply this, you do the actual homework, then you will master this. 
Okay. Why do I say that? Because like I said, 100, I, I am, I completely am confident in this because I've seen hundreds, like I said, if not thousands of my clients come to me in so many different mindsets, overthinking, over analytical, over logical or logical, whatever. Um, you know, and, and they, and I see them right now. In fact, I'm working with a lot of them. You know who you are. If you're watching this video, you know exactly who you are. And I love all you guys so much. And you guys are making strides. You guys are turning corners. Like I say all the time, guys, this is a graduation. Okay. You are turning into from the caterpillar to the butterfly. It's like, boom, boom, boom. You're making, this is a metamorphosis guys. Okay. It's a graduation. And I see you guys making strides. I see you guys turning corners. I do. And that's why I believe in you guys. And yes, it is my assumptions. Everyone is me pushed out. I get it. Everyone is you pushed out. I get it. So yes, I've worked with the most over analytical minds. I've worked with the most overthinkers. I have worked with people that have dubbed themselves as ADD. I have worked with people that have dubbed themselves as all these different things. Okay. And I have worked with people that are ready to give up. I've worked with so many different situations and so many different mindsets, so many different states that people have been in. And I've seen them turn corners. I've seen them turn corners, guys. Um, so, you know, I just want you guys to believe in yourselves. I want you guys to know, okay, that yes, okay, we all know the brain doesn't want to change. Okay. We've, I've talked about it before. It's no secret. That's why I've used analogies like tantrums, taking the sucker from the baby. Okay. All of those things. Just remember that the minute that you, you're, you're, you go back into, you know, when you're doing your mental diet and an old, old and favorable story comes up. Okay. When it comes up and you flip that, Okay. And you're doing great. And you might have a down, you know, a down day. Um, you know, you might feel like crying. You might be reminiscing. You might be missing your SP. And I say this all the time, guys, it's perfectly okay to feel those feelings. Why? Because those feelings are meant to be brought up for a reason to the surface. So you can acknowledge them, feel them, acknowledge them, and then release them and let them go and then reset yourself. Okay. And if we in those moments decide to spiral, if me, if we in those moments decide to go back and go down the rabbit hole, as I say, I've used that analogy several times, then guess what, guys? Our mind has that opening. It has that opening, okay, to drag you back to I, well, what I like to say is the dark side, the old story. Okay. It likes to drag you back guys. It does. So when you give that opening for a period of time to your mind, it is always going to take the path of least resistance. So it is going to take, it is going to take that opportunity to, to, to appear like it is your enemy. It's going to appear like it is a complete, um, going against, you know, completely going against what you want. It's doing its job, guys. It's trying to keep you com comfy, okay? Just like, just like with my daughter, I wrap her when you know we tuck her in at night, and we wrap her. I call it a burrito. I'm like, I wrap you in a burrito, okay? I wrap you in a little burrito so you feel safe, right? And so it's like your subconscious is doing that to to you. It's wrapping you in that cozy little blanket. It's keeping you safe and secure because it's the story that you've been telling your, your, your subconscious over and over again. And so just because the brain doesn't want to change, it's going to take the path of least resistance. It is always without a doubt, <clears throat> guys, it is going to take that path because it's easier that way than to create a new neural pathway to impress Okay, it's going to drag you back into the dark side whenever you allow it to, whenever you give it a little bit of opening. Okay, you know, and I'm not trying to say that if you're in a moment and then you flip that story that it's going to do that. But I'm just saying like when you guys have those spirals, when you guys do, go down the rabbit hole, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're, um, and when you're, you know, um, spiraling for hours and days and all of those things, 
your mind is going to always back you up and is always going to put you, it's going to, it's going to throw you on the victim train. It's going to buy you a drink. It's going to, you know, you're going to have a seat there. You're going to be comfortable and you're going to be going down the road. And that's just what it is. You're going to be on the victim train or you're going to be an ego mindset where your mind is going to remind you of, do you actually think that this person's going to call you? Remember, you guys have been in no contact for two months. Remember, this person said they wanted to have nothing to do with you. Remember, they blocked you from everything. Remember, remember, that's ego mind, right? When you're in victim mind, when you're on the victim train and you're comfy there and you're drinking your cocktail and you're hanging out and you don't know what the destination is, but you're just like, I'm here for the ride, right? Is when your mind is reminding you do you actually think you're in charge of all this? This person is like doing everything that they want to do. This person is like, they're controlling it all, right? You're lucky if you find a good relationship. You're lucky if you find um, love at this point or a, or a SP, uh, you know, a significant uh, a person that you want to bring in that's going to actually um, do the things that you're, that you want to do. You're going to be lucky at this point if you're going to get married. You're going to be lucky at this point if you're going to have kids. Do you actually think your situation is going to change? It's been like this for five years. It's been like this for how many years? That's victim mindset. You know, it's like, it's like life is happening to me, not through me. People are being created. They're doing their own thing. They're out here and they're just born that way. And so now I've met them and they they're in my reality, but they're never going to change. It's been like this for a long time. Why do I think that this is going to be different? Victim, 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 victim. Okay. And I just don't want you guys to stay there. I don't, I don't, I do not want you guys to stay there at all. Right. Um, I want you guys to remember too. Okay. This is another thing that I want to, I feel like it's connected to the subject and I want to, I want you guys to remember this. Okay. Um, when people ask me if I do this homework that you're giving me, am I going to get what I want? Okay. When they, let's bring it back to that. They ask me that. And I'm like, yes, I do. I do believe in that. I do believe in that. I do. Okay. Okay. So when you are doing a mental diet, Okay. When you're actually getting strict on your mental diet, like I said, once you have sessions with me and I get a hold of you, okay, <laughs> you're going to be on your mental diet. You're going to feel empowered. You're going to feel reset. You're going to be feel energized. You're going to feel excited. You're going to feel like you can do this. You're going to feel like you can conquer the world because you can. Okay. Um, but there's so many things. And I always tell my clients, okay, from day one, guys, when you are like finally getting, getting, you know, I don't know, even if you're not getting coaching, coaching, if you finally, if this all starts clicking to you guys from watching videos um, and, you know, reading, reading, uh, you know, maybe books, devil books or something, watching videos and using it as an educational tool instead of I need to compare myself to this person. I need to hear about their success story because it's been two months for me and I'm not sure if I can do this. So now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta watch this because I gotta, I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong. Oh wait, I gotta watch this because this is about affirmations and I gotta find the perfect affirmation because I don't think my affirmations are working anymore. So I'm going to go to this instead. Do you see how erratic and crazy that sounds? It's just so like back and forth, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Okay. When you actually are trying to watch content for education, when you're actually trying, when you actually decide maybe to get coaching or, you know, whatever for education, for actually resetting yourself, when you decide to read a book for education, for actually learning about LOA and mastering it. Okay. When you step into that, first of all, first and foremost, you guys have to remember that I've, I see said this, I've said this on sessions a lot. Okay. A lot of people will try to go back to the past. Okay. I always say, three, four, five, 10 seconds ago, it was past. Why are we living there? Why are we living there? Why are we um, dwelling there? Okay. But when they go back there, okay, over and over and over again, I always tell them, 
Let's bring it into present, guys. Let's remember that you are not in the version that you were in then. You're not in the version anymore. You've decided, whenever you choose and you decide to be in this state of I'm going to take this and I'm going to and I'm going to educate myself and I'm going to take this serious and I'm going to get strict on my mental diet. I'm going to live in my head. I'm going to know that everything is going to follow my thoughts, my thoughts, the leader. So I'm going to re, I'm going to always redirect back into my brain because I always say it's like, it's like that traffic director. Okay. That you see at, you know, I don't know, schools, airports, whatever people are always directing traffic, right? It's like you're constantly directing your, your subconscious into the new story. So it's like, you are a traffic director. Boom, boom, boom. Nope. We're not, we're not staying here. We're going here. Nope. We're not going to stay here. We're going to go here. Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm going to throw a tantrum. We're going to go here. We're going to go here. Okay. So the minute that you start doing that, you cannot go back and stay in, stay in the past or, or remind yourself of the past or dwell in the past because you're not the version that you were when you were dwelling, when you were doing those things, when you were manifesting, when you were in that state, you're not the same version anymore. Three seconds ago is the past. We cannot live there. Okay. We have to bring it into the present moment. This isn't only about, I said this before too, it isn't only about your, your SP changing, you're changing the version of your SP or you're having them conform to the version that you want to experience and your SP is changing. You were also changing. You're stepping into the realization that you were born perfect. Okay. You're not flawed in any way that you were born powerful. You are going back into your, your, the way that you were born, you're born creating the minute that you took your first breath, you're born perfect. Okay. And so you're stepping into that realization. Well, you may have not been that version. You weren't, I can probably guarantee you because you're here now and, and you're, you know, some, some of you deciding to get coaching. Some of you watching this video, whatever it is, you were not the version that even realized that back in the past. Okay. And that's why we can't live there anymore. Because now when we come into the realization of that and we step into that, Okay, that's the version that we are now. That's the state that we choose to be in now. Okay, because I've said this before, states are controlled by thoughts. Whatever our thoughts are is the state that we're going to be in. Okay, and it's as simple as if you want to change your state, change your thoughts. I've, I've, I've reminded you guys of that several times. It's really not that complicated. It really isn't. It's just changing thoughts, so changing states, shifting in the state. OK, so you cannot keep on going back and comparing yourself to that person that you were then. OK, you're the same person that you were when you were born. Perfect and powerful. It's just stepping into the realization of that. And I cannot drive that home enough to, to you guys. I don't want to sound like I'm repeating myself, but I cannot drive that home enough. OK, when you come into that realization that you're perfect and you're powerful. Well, guess what? Now we're empowered. Now we realize that. And that's why I am probably one of the, I have never, ever heard of a coach um, talking about this before. Um, I don't watch a lot of other coaches content because if I am saying I am bet I am the best in my reality, then I need to, I need to live in my reality as I'm the best. There's nobody else out there. I never have to worry about anybody else. Competition is, is an illusion. I don't watch a lot of coaches content, not that I'm not supportive of them, of them. I am love them to death. And I, and I, and I'm always, always, always supportive when I can be, but watching content to try to get something out of it, to try to realize, Oh, wait, I got to do this. Nope. Not doing it. I don't do it. Okay. But I will say that from my knowledge, I have, I'm the very first coach that has ever brought this kind of, um, of of thought process i guess um to the channel and and it's i truly believe that you have to first step into your creator mindset and then self-concept will follow that it's a perfect marriage okay let me explain what i mean by that is that when if, if you're affirming all day right that you are prioritized that you're loved 
that you're this, that. Okay, first of all, that looks different for everybody. So you have to really realize, you have to really ask yourself, if I'm affirming for these things, what does it look like for me? Because you have to embody that, okay? You have to become that before you experience it. It's the opposite of out there in a community that is not awake to this, okay? Now that we're awake to this, we know that whatever we want to experience, we need to embody first, and then it will push out into our 3D. We know this, okay? So when you go in and you're affirming that you're prioritized, when you go in and you're affirming that you are unconditionally loved, that you are um, important, that you are all of these things, you're valued, okay? Um, you have to really understand what does that look like to me? What would that be like if, if in everyday life I woke up and I knew I was valued, I knew I was prioritized, I knew I was deeply loved? I'm just using that as an example. What would that be like in my reality? Okay, well, once you figure out what that's like, then you need to embody that. You need to embody it, okay? Instead of running around and saying, I'm prioritized, I'm amazing, I'm loved, I'm this, 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 because our LOA community has told you to do that because self-concept is the best, this, this is the most important part of this, right? Is the best part of this, which I don't agree. I, I mean, I don't disagree. I'm just saying that I feel like creator mindset has to come about. It has to strengthen that. It's a, like I said, it's a perfect marriage, meaning that first let's step into our power. First, let's, let's know that we were born the first time we took our, our first breath, bro, breath, sorry, can I talk today? Um, that we were, we were born perfect. Okay. That we are not flawed. Okay. We were born powerful. We were born creative. Um, creating that we bring it into current day. Okay. And this is not about running around and saying, I'm prioritized. I'm amazing. I'm just this, 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 because I'm flawed and I need to do all these things to get what I want. It is basically just saying, I want to experience this. I'm already perfect. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm already powerful. I'm stepping to the realization of that. And therefore I want to experience being prioritized. I want to experience being um, unconditionally loved. I want to experience um, being valued. What does that look like to me in my in my um, in my in my world? Okay, because I know I'm the creator and I know I'm powerful and I know that I was born perfect. Okay, so this is just changing my assumptions about being being valued, about being prioritized, about being deeply loved. It's changing my assumptions about how people view me, how people show up for me, how how people make me feel, how not people, how I feel about myself. Okay. So how people are showing up, how I am viewed and how I feel about myself. This is what this is all about, guys. Okay. It's bringing about to that. Okay. And so I'm just here to remind you guys, you can master this. Yes, you can master it 100%. This is not a question about if I'm going to get what I want. People always come to me and they always go, carry on. And I, that's why I made a whole video on it. You getting what you want is the only option. I don't know exactly how I phrase it, but you know, yeah, you getting what you want is the only option. That's why I made a whole video on it, guys, because it is about that. It's like you literally pick, choose, decide in the moment. It's the only option. I'm only planning for that. I'm not resisting what's happening. Okay. I'm acknowledging it. I don't, I don't necessarily have to hang my hat on it. I don't have to identify with it. I don't have to run with it. I can just be like acknowledging, accepting, whatever you guys want to call it. I say you don't have, even have to accept it, but acknowledging it at least at the very least, acknowledging what's happening, what you're feeling, feelings that are coming up, what you're acknowledging or what you're experiencing in your 3D, just acknowledge it all. Okay. You can interact with it. You can respond to it, but you don't have to say, this is my final destination. This is where I'm going to land. This is it. This is permanent because everybody knows I've said this before. If you ever watched one of my videos, two of my videos, you have heard this before. The 3D is a lesson on chalkboard. That's all it is. If it's good, let's continue with it. Let's concentrate on it. If it's bad, let's trash it. Let's cut our attention off from it. Let's cut the life, su life supply off from those thoughts from that story. So we don't have to experience it anymore. It's a lesson on the chalkboard. Okay. It's that simple. 
because we all know that the 3D is just old thoughts that have been going on in here, bouncing around in here. It is literally evidence of what is happening in here, okay? The quicker that we learn that, the quicker that we can master living in our mind right now in this moment, we don't wanna experience the old story and it's unfavorable, living in this moment, okay? Picking positive thoughts, picking, picking favorable thoughts, picking um, thoughts that are in alignment with what we want to experience next because there's a 3D, there's a delay in the 3D. So we know what we're what we're thinking about now is what we're going to experience next. What we're experiencing now in our 3D is what we were what we were thinking before. Okay. And that's just the bottom line, guys. Okay. So you can master this. Okay. I think I've gone into a lot of detail about how, okay, you can or why you can. Remember right now in this moment, like I said, like I was going over is when my clients come to me, okay, newer clients or a client on a first session or, um, you know, subscribers come to me with comments or whatever it is. Nine times out of 10, okay, when they're still like wobbly about this and they're like, okay, if I do this homework, am I going to get what I want? I'm like, yes, you are absolutely. Because right now in this moment, as long as you apply these things and you apply repetition, okay, you go into it knowing that this is all about repetition in the beginning. It is all about repetition. No matter how you decide to do this, if you decide to just do this with a mental diet period, that is enough. Repetition. Repetition behind it. Back it up with repetition. If you decide to go in with um, a couple affirmations and robotically affirm, I have clients that are doing that right now, working with a lot of them. You know who you are if you're watching this video. Back it up with repetition. Okay. If you decide to script a few times a day, we're backing up with repetition a few times a day. Okay. What, however, you guys are deciding, if you're deciding to visualize, okay. And if you're deciding to pair some of these things together, that's perfectly fine too. That's all customized to if I have a session with you guys or whatever the case may be. I can't, I can't comment on, you know, what's the best situation. I'm just saying that whatever you guys or what's the best homework, whatever your situation is, whatever you guys decide to do. Okay. And let me just, let me just reiterate this. A mental diet is enough. Just doing a mental diet is enough to manifest guys, because guess what? Mental diet, intentions, affirmations, one and the same, they're all words, they're all thoughts, they're all going on in here and you can't stop thinking. So it is enough to manifest. Repetition, back it up with repetition, okay? So at first it is repetition and then it is persistence and consistency. Okay. And then guess what, guys? Mind, brain doesn't want to change, but it must because it must follow you. It has to follow you because you are in charge. If you let yourself be in charge, meaning that if you, even though your subconscious is throwing a tantrum, throwing a fit, taking the lollipop and being a terrible, or you're taking a lollipop from them and they're being a terrible too. Okay. If you choose to stand in conviction, be strong with yourself and say, me getting what I want is the only option. I'm living over here in the old story. I'm going to be the traffic director and direct my subconscious over here. Then it will impress. It has no choice. It must follow you. You're in charge of the subconscious. You're its eyes. Okay. Does not know what's actually going on out here. Does not know. Okay. You're in charge of that. So if you continue to redirect and choose the story, the favorable, as many times as you can. I know this can be difficult. I get it, guys. Whatever state you're in watching this video, whether you're like in a powerful, I got this mode, perfect. If you're in a, I'm crying in a tub of ice cream mode, if, if you're neutral and you're just watching this to get education, I get it. Whatever state you're in, okay? I understand that. Remember, you choose and you decide what you're going to feed the subconscious. The subconscious doesn't know if you're feeling great da, 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 unless you tell it, okay? Um, if you're crying in a tub of ice cream, if you're doubting this, if you're saying, I don't know if I can do this, it's been two months, it's been five months, it's been a year, 
whatever the case may be, whatever you're feeding your subconscious right now is what it's going to take in as truth. So it must follow you, has some choice. And after it follows you and you direct that traffic for enough times into the favorable, then what happens? It impresses and it creates a new neural pathway. You are literally changing your brain right now, guys. You guys are doing intense work. You are. And that's why it seems intense. That's why when people come back to me after first session, usually five to seven days, like clockwork. And I understand everyone is my, me pushed out my assumptions, but it's clockwork. I've seen it hundreds. Like I said, if not thousands of times, people come to me and they're like, Kariana, I've been anxious. I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. Um, my, I haven't seen really much change. Um, I don't, I want to give this up. I don't even know if I want my SP anymore. Should I do this? Can I do this? Is this really working? I mean, it is a freak out or it's on the verge of being a freak out when they book a session with me. Okay. And I'm like, yeah, you can, this is all normal. Cause like I've said before, to get from a to B, the only way is through and the through part is uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable guys. It's like getting a shot at the doctor that you don't want to have. It's like a person that freaks out when they get their blood taken. Okay. It is not going to be comfortable, but guess what? We still do it. If we need that shot, we're going to get that shot. If, or if we think that we need that shot, we, and if we're, our assumptions are that we need that shot, if our assumptions are that our doctor's right and we need their blood taken, then we need our blood taken. We get through it. We get through it somehow. Okay. And like I've said before in my videos, hopefully you guys want it bad enough. Hopefully you want it bad enough. So I said on the session, I'm like, look, I can't make the final decision for you, but I will tell you this. I'm going to kick you in your pants. If you decide to do this, I'm going to remind you that yes, you can. I'm going to remind you that right now you're going to be uncomfortable. I'm going to be honest with you. I am not going to lie to you. You're going to be uncomfortable for a minute. You are. It is what it is because brain doesn't want to change. But guess what? Has no choice. Brain doesn't have final say unless you give it the final say. The subconscious must follow you. Okay. Doesn't know what's going on. Has no idea. Feed it the information that you want to experience. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to point out on this video guys for you guys, cause I really want you guys to just get this and I want it to click for you guys. I really, really want you guys to get this because you can master this. You can, you can master it. <clears throat> I've seen it a million times before, a million times before. Okay. Um, you know, just remember this guys. You, you guys have called in these things in your reality, not the other way around. You're in charge. You are in charge every day, always, always, and every way you're in charge. Okay. So take that with you guys. Um, I think that that's all, I think that that's all I wanted to touch on today, but I really, really wanted to just remind you guys that you guys can master this. You can master this right now. It's about repetition then it's about persistence and consistency and you can do it. You can do it. So I am you guys' biggest cheerleader. I know you guys can get exactly what you want. That's why I'm here every single week telling you guys that you can do it. Okay. Cause you can, you can, I've seen it so many different times. I actually, I have a few success stories right now that I'm reading over that I'm going to share in my next videos. Um, just to remind you guys that you guys can get what you want. Okay. So take this with you guys. Know that I am rooting for you guys. Know that I'm intending for you guys. Okay. And know that I love, love, love you guys. And whatever state you're in watching this video, you're going to get what you want. You're going to get what you want. If you keep your eye on the prize, as I like to say, live in the mind, no matter what you're seeing out here, no matter what you're hearing out here. Okay. Oh, also, let me, let me, let me remind you guys of this before I go. There are so many things that I have called in that I have manifested in my life. Okay. A lot of them pertaining to, to SP that I did not believe. Okay. I did not believe. I didn't truly believe. I didn't, um, I believed in the process, but at the time when I called these things in, and I was starting to experience them in my 3d 
Did I actually believe them? No, I didn't. It didn't completely impress. Um, did I, did I actually, was I actually thinking that um, this was going to happen at that particular time? No, 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 no. There are so many things that I've called and I've manifested. Like I said before, I even truly believe them. Okay. Before I saw evidence of them. I've talked about that a little bit in my other videos before I even saw evidence of them. So do not think that you need to be doing all these things and you must believe before you see evidence of it, because that is not true. I have manifested so many different things before it hardened into fact. Okay. <clears throat> it, I called it in before it was hardened into fact. It's because I just believe the process of this. Okay. I believe that if I kept my eye on the prize, that I kept living in the new story, that I kept redirecting my brain, being a traffic director, I kept living in my mind that I was going to experience this. And I knew that the chess game, that's one of my analogies, was being played for me. I like to call the universe. So the universe was playing it for me. And I knew that the universe was going to drop me into situations, move people, places, and things out of my way for me to experience what I wanted to experience. I trusted in that. I believed in that wholeheartedly. And I kept my eye on the prize. And then things started pushing out. I didn't quite believe in everything I was telling my subconscious, but I knew that that didn't matter because my subconscious was taken in, in as truth and the process as I was, as I was going into my subconscious, you know, feeding my subconscious, this food for thought, this, this, these positive things, this story that I wanted to experience. I knew that once I did that, that my subconscious was taking over from there. Okay. And like I said, the chess game was being played for me. It's a strategy game, right? Chess is a strategy game and it's a strategy. It's like, how do I move people, places and things out of the way to give Kariana what she wants? How do I move people, places and things out of the way to drop Kariana into situations for her to experience that? And I trusted that process. And that is the most important, okay? That is the most important is trusting that process, okay? And then everything else like, like I said, you go in with the positive thoughts, the, the story that you want to experience, the things that you want to experience, the story that you're telling yourself about those things, everything being in alignment with that, with your desires, and then things will start pushing out. Okay. So just take that with you. Um, but I love, love, love you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. And from here on out, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.